Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's your boy, Sound Real. I'm chillin' here in Toronto, and you now watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Leisha from Ambi, and I am so excited to be here with Sonreal today. Hey, 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 how's hey, it going? Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm chilling, how are you? I'm good, I just want to say thanks for taking the time to have a chat, we're very excited about this. Oh, thank you, I'm excited to be here, and I, I'm even wearing your, your you're, wristband. You're repping it already, I'm re I appreciate like, I'm repping, I'm here, <laughs> so yeah. Well, it's an exciting time for you right now, because you are soon dropping the name EV. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what it's, are your plans to celebrate this big release? Um, I don't, I think I'm just touring until like I like die or something. I don't know. They're trying to kill me. Like they're literally like the, yeah, we've got this tour and then we've got next tour and then I've got next tour. And it's just like, I'm like, when am I going to just hang out for a second? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm probably just going to be touring when it comes out. I'm going to do like CD release parties and stuff like that probably. And, you know, in Vancouver and Canada, I want to come back to Canada and do some shows. I've been like going crazy in America. I'm on tour right now with John Bellion. Uh, before that, I was on another tour. Before that, I was on another tour uh, in America. And I'm really trying to build my business there. But uh, I miss Canada, and I want to come back and uh, do some shows in my home city and in Toronto and, um, you know, just places in Canada. Well, we're so. excited to have you here for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm I mean, stoked. Welcome, welcome back to Toronto. I'm stoked. Like, yeah. I couldn't find this anywhere. So for you, what's the significance just behind entitling <clears throat> the release the name EP? Um, I've been working on a body of work, which is my album for like the last like 16 months. And I've kind of like just went through so many different, um, I guess like kind of epiphanies on the type of music I wanted to make and the type of writer I wanted to become and, and stuff. And, uh, there's this huge gap of like all this music I've worked on and my fans not getting to listen to it because I've been working on it for so long and I've, I hold it so closely. So we're giving them the first installment, which is the EP. And some of those songs may or may not show up on the album, but it's very different from everything I've ever done before. And even with like, Can I Get a Witness, like a lot of people, when they heard that song, they were like, wow, this is way different for you. It just sounds different and um, people seem to really love it. And uh, I, be, I called it the name because this is gonna be the first time that people hear my name uh, in a, on a much grander scheme. And uh, it's the first time that they're going to hear my name in that light, maybe. I love they're going to have to go back to go check out the old name. But this is the new me, and this is the new sound. So I just wanted to call it the name, just like, yo, get used to it. Yo, I'm coming for you, world. <laughs> world, I'm coming for you. Well, you mentioned the different nuances mm. on it, and I love how you can listen to different tracks from this forthcoming EP, and some of it has like some jazz undertones, R&B, pop. Yeah, all I got's my favorite joint on it, but I like I like all the joints on it. I'm proud of it. I've seen that there's so many different nuances. Do you feel like you just removed all thresholds when you went into making this EP? Yeah, and it's hard to do. Okay, like I'm like uh, I'm, I come from rap. I grew up like listening to rap music and all that kind of stuff, and uh, I always loved to sing. Um, but uh, <laughs> you gotta turn the camera over. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy swagging John oh, Bellion. Some great John Bellion just came up and started <laughs> swiping around. Uh, I don't even know what that saying. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just like making music. Like I don't care about genre or anything. And when I first started making this project, I was scared to do. I was scared to go too pop. I was yeah. scared to be too R and B or too jazz. But I love Stevie Wonder and I love Green Day and I love this and that and I love Graham Nash and I love Tupac and I love Nas and uh, my music is just a reflection of the things that I love and the, the person I am and that's why I've got a song like Hot Air Balloon that's like super weird 50s mixed with like rap mixed with like yeah. pop and then I got songs like Soho that's like super hard because I love hard music too and I love soft stuff that's why I did a love song on the on the EP as well and yeah I don't know I just like making good music I'm psyched you mentioned Soho there because the video you recently dropped for that song is yeah. incredible. Like, it's stunning. What was it like uh, filming in these? It looked like remote <clears throat> locations, sort of. What was it like filming there? Take us behind the scenes. Uh, so I was on a tour across Canada, and uh, we basically just pulled over the van and started shooting things. Really? Yeah, it was like that. And everyone thinks that yeah, everyone thinks that we had like huge setup scenes and we went out to the Arctic or something like that. <laughs> we were in Reg we shot the whole video in Regina, um, Halifax, and Prince Edward Island. Wow. So we were on a cross Canada tour and we pulled over the van and uh, here's the thing. Everybody thinks that you need so much money to do a music video or you need outlets or you need a crew or you need a crazy director. We literally shot that video on $180. Like we had no, uh, our fans just lent us drones in each of the cities, and um, 
Yeah, it's like one of my favorite videos I've ever done. It's super simple. There's like nothing really that insane about it except for beautiful, beautiful, Absolutely. beautiful shots and kind of a funny performance where I'm like choreographing my like moves and stuff like that. <laughs> but like for the most part, I mean, it's a really simple video that anyone could shoot. It was just a good idea, I feel like. Well, you're now taking in anticipation of the EP. You're now touring North America. So how are yeah. these shows treating you? They're crazy. The guy that was just dancing in front of that window while I started laughing, he is insane. Like... He's, like, blown my mind. Like, uh, there's certain artists that you come across in your life that uh, that just inspire you to a n next level and make you want to be a better artist, and John's somebody that uh, that does that for me. So um, to be touring with him and be direct support for the whole tour is amazing. And, uh, yeah, I'm learning a lot. And uh, I'm also learning what we got is a lot, too. Like, people are really, really, really... Um, reacting to these new songs off the EP and I'm starting to realize that we might have some songs on this EP that are bigger than we even thought you that's know amazing. so that's cool well you recently tweeted the other day I always have time for my fans and just yeah. being a fan of music a fan of you just myself like that's just amazing to hear when any artist says that so seeing yeah. that you're always giving back to your fans what are some of the coolest things that fans have given you wow that's crazy <clears throat> um I got a note from a girl on one of my last tours, and she just said, you saved my life on the note. And I was like, whoa, that was like super crazy. And then she came up to me after the show, and she was just like, yeah, I've been through all sorts of stuff in my life, and I was having like a really hard time in my life, and uh, it was your music that made me, you know, get over it. And like that little note was like so crazy to me. It was like, I'll never forget it. And I, I've had other people do stuff like that via message on Facebook or Twitter or DM or whatever. But the, just the way she said the note and the way she explained it to me and really let me know that like that's why I do music and that's why I started to do music. I want to do music to make people smile or make people laugh or make people cry or make people... I, music just always made me feel emotion. So to get a gift like that, and it was just a little piece of paper that just said that, it was like really huge for me. But I've had some really cool paintings, like really big paintings that, that are really awesome, like watercolor and stuff that I, I always give them to my mom. Aww. And my mom hangs <laughs> them up she and has little, uh, she has a shrine yeah <laughs> yeah it's getting weird though i'm not gonna give them to her anymore because like in the house you go downstairs and it's just like fo there's like some big ass photo of me there and, like it's just like i don't know it seems like pretentious for me i'm like down there i'm like looking at me i'm like mom stop it <laughs> but she's got like a drawer and stuff with all this stuff actually the nicest gift um other than that note for me was my mother gave me um uh, she made me a quilt made of all the t-shirts because I've been doing merchandise for a long time, yeah. like t-shirts since I started, like way before I even had fans. I, I used to make Sunreal t-shirts and stuff like that. And she had all of them, all of them made into a quilt that she knitted. That's incredible. She knitted like a quilt of all the old t-shirts. And uh, yeah, mom, you're the best. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love you. Do you take the quilt on tour with you as a, like, a little reminder? No, I it? keep it safe. I actually okay, don't even want to put sense. it on my bed because that even even more pretentious. It says like Sunreal like, all over it. <laughs> so like, I don't know what to do with the quilt. I actually yeah. just put it in my closet and like love it. But like sometimes I'll take it out and just look at it and be like, that's dope. And then I like, put it back in. But yeah, I don't like... I don't rock the quilt too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the shirts there, and I know uh, your... Facebook <clears throat> band interests, one of them is uh, fashion. So yeah, right yeah. now, what is your go-to stage outfit? Do you have one? Yeah, I just got, like, all these guys, like John and his whole team, uh, Black Keys and Travis Mendez and all those guys that he rolls with, uh, they all wear basketball shoes. And I, I wore basketball shoes a bit before, but I started hanging out with them, and I was like, yo, those shoes are nice. I was like, <laughs> yo, I want some. And right now I'm wearing basketball shoes because they're the best. They're so comfortable. And on stage I jump around so much. I'm usually wearing, like, Doc Martens or, like, sometimes I'll be wearing, like, kind of, like, cowboy-esque boots or something mm -hmm. or, like, Vans or something. And uh, I started realizing, like, as far as, like, my comfort level goes and fashion-wise, these are sick. Those do the job. Yeah, and, like, uh, basically everything I wear, like, anything I wear, I alter to some degree. Except for this white t-shirt, but I should even alter this. But I cut all my own jeans, and I cut the collars off everything, and I try and find, like, weird, random stuff. Just seeing that you are so into fashion, when you look back at some of the fads you went through growing up, are there any that you love or any that you're super embarrassed of? Oh, come on. <clears throat> you're, like, literally looking at, like, the... I have been through so many phases of clothing in my life. I think, like, anybody that, like, is creative... I mean, you guys probably worn some horrible outfits in your life, right? Oh, yeah. You guys are creative people. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys have worn some, like, really bad outfits. Me, like, I'm talking... I used to wear... Um, I used to wear like quadruple XL tall tees, so they would come down to like your knee, 
with like size 40 jeans and like Timberland boots. And I used to shave my head like I'd like bick it. And uh, sometimes I'd wear like a do-rag and shit, like when I was like in high school. And uh, yeah, I just had absolutely no swag at all. Uh, I've worn everything from turquoise suits with a turquoise fedora. Like I've worn some of the worst outfits, <laughs> literally known to man. That made me think, have you seen Dumb and Dumber before when they're dressed for yeah, the suits? Yeah, pretty much. I look like a worse <laughs> version of that. That's actually like, they look good kind of to me. But yeah, I've worn the worst outfit. I out of all my friends, I'm definitely like the the worst and, and now best dressed. Yeah, I'm just looking joking. good now. I'm just hey, I had to work really hard. I'm just joking. My friends all got really good outfits too. Yeah. Well, I just want to end things, bringing it back to the fans. Is there anything you want to say to all of them? Any parting words? I appreciate everyone that's ever listened to my music, whether it's you're hearing it for the first time now or whether you just found out about it. I appreciate you, and I'm going to keep doing new music, and we're going to keep not being afraid to do interesting videos and interesting songs. Yo, shout out Alicia. This has been awesome. And Madison, this has been an awesome uh, interview. So, yeah, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Maybe you should bring it in. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. In all day. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's and awesome. Remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. Yeah, See you next yeah, time. Yeah. Hell yeah, yo, word, yeah.